or contaminations. Uh, we are... What was that strange sensation? I think it was. A sneeze. A sneeze? Oh, please. A sneeze. A sneeze. That's what you've got. That means this virus can be caught. Flip and Flop were going to find a cure for that computer virus. Wow, Colby. That virus sure must be contagious. Flip and Flop caught it, too. Why, yes, I know it's true. Seems Flip and Flop have caught my flu. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong with me? I just can't stop my rhyming spree. It's okay, Colby. You'll be okay. Oh, if I don't stop this rhyming quick, we'll all be very, very sick. Hold everything, Colby. Looks like you just bumped this knob on the back of your head a bit. I'll fix it. There. Oh, thank you, Bo. That is a little better. Well, at least you stopped rhyming. What happened, Colby? Well, I seem to have lost some of the scriptures that have been programmed into my memory. It's sort of like having a talent, but forgetting what it's supposed to be used for. You see, I know God has given me the gift of teaching children and making music, but unless I use my programming for him, I'm just spinning my disc. Oh, I wish I had never gone into that computer store. Even though there were so many wonderful programs there, they weren't really designed to help me serve the Lord. Why not, Colby? Because in order for me to serve him, I just have to use what I've been given. Not to please myself or others, but to please the Lord. Oh, if only I could access my scripture files, I would know where that verse comes from. I remember, Colby. It's in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17.
call, Ina. Uh, I've been thinking. And, well, I just want to say I'm sorry for getting mad. I mean, I can't really sing or dance. Well, Paulina, we were just talking about that. You see, God gives different talents to everybody. And it's important that we use those talents he gives us. Not for ourselves, but to please the Lord. You know, I think I'm learning the same lesson you are, Paulina. Remember when I went into that computer store and saw all those wonderful programs? I just had to have them all. But I forgot something very important. What's that, Colby? Well, I forgot that in order for God to use me, I just have to use the gifts I've been given. The gift of teaching children through music and song. Do you remember how we learned in a body of Christ, everyone has a special gift? Yeah. So we shouldn't be jealous of another person's gift. Yeah, I guess you're right, Colby, but that's kind of hard. Well, Jessica, think about it this way. You know how God made every animal different? Can you imagine what it would be like if all the animals were jealous of what another animal could do? <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of like if a giraffe was upset because he wasn't a bird and couldn't fly. <laughs> it's a good thing giraffes can't fly. Yeah, or if a duck got jealous of a gopher because he couldn't dig in the ground. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Would you mind terribly installing the file you just fixed? Yeah. Well, of course we 
will. Of course we will. Now, if you'll just be very still. There. Oh, yes. Oh, there are all my scripture files, just as I remember them. <laughs> oh, it is so wonderful to be able to remember all the scriptures again. You never know when they may come in handy. Hmm. Oh, yes. Now it's beginning to make sense. What's beginning to make sense, Colby? Why, your talent show, of course. Oh, yes, it is all very clear to me now. Huh? Remember when you were all talking about showing off your talents to tell your friends about Jesus? That's right. And remember I said that something was not quite right about that? Well, what is it, Colby? Well, I just realized that you can never really serve the Lord, even with all the wonderful gifts and talents that you have, if you don't have the right attitude in your heart. Well, how do you get the right attitude in your heart, Colby? Well, Danielle, that's where the Lord comes in. You see, if you just open your heart and ask the Lord for a heart to give, then He will do the rest. <laughs> 